beautiful mesmerizing beaches. Just one of the many reasons people love to visit and live in Puerto Rico. But in September 2017, most of the beaches on this island of enchantment were severely impacted by Hurricane Maria, the deadliest storm to hit the U.S. territory. Lasting effects can be seen five years later. Coastal erosion so intense, some beaches are on the verge of disappearing forever. It's a matter of urgency, and it's a matter that has to be attended to immediately. For the last three decades, Pedro Jimenez has watched his beloved Ocean Park Beach in San Juan wash away. We would have a dry sand beach that would start here. We wouldn't have to use these stairs. People actually would walk over to the sand. The beach was rather high, and part of what's happened with the erosion, whenever the water reaches the vertical wall, the water digs deeper, so the sand gets lower and lower until the water hits the foundation. The sand used to cover this whole area. In fact, it reached up to those stairs. That's why the stairs are blocked off now. The sand no longer here because of coastal erosion. This is the beach in June 2012. Notice the location of the trash bin in the distance. Compare that with this photo from August 1st, 2022. Then the trash can completely washed out to sea 12 days later. You know, the argument is that coastal erosion is a natural process, but when you see large, mature palm trees like this one, this is a clear indicator of coastal erosion that's gotten worse. It's why residents and scientists like University of Puerto Rico's geological oceanographer, Dr. Maritza Barreto, are sounding an alarm. It can be the possibility that some beach areas at Puerto Rico will be reduced at the, at the point that can be disappeared. Erosion that would normally take months, years, or even decades, took just hours with Hurricane Maria. We have some neighbors in the east that now uh, have a situation where the waves literally pound against the walls and the entire structure vibrates. And while experts assess whether any structural damage has occurred, they're concerned strong wave action could leave long-term damaging effects along some areas of the coast. For us, it's critical that uh, we regain the sand and the dry sand beach and that we get it as soon as practicable. But a solution is still a ways off. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says the long-term study they started in 2018 will not serve immediate concerns that property owners are facing. And the absolute soonest that the Puerto Rico Coastal Study could be implemented would be 2029. This is our public beach. This is our sports beach. This is our uh, neighborhood beach. This is where everybody comes. You can see how unstable our deep root. We're looking for immediate solutions that will be compatible with sand migration so that we can protect the property and at the same time make sure we have the typical cyclical or renourishment that will give us back the dry sand that we need to have the beach in San Juan that we've had for the last hundred years. 